Well, it's turning out to be a familiar pattern for Andy Murray. For the ninth year in a row, here he is going through his final preparations for a Wimbledon quarter-final. That is quite some record of consistency up against Joe Wilfred Songer. What a great campaigner the Frenchman is and what a fantastic performance he put in against John Isner over on court too. That absolutely epic win in the third round, 1917 in the decider. Murray definitely has the edge here in terms of the head-to-heads. He leads in that department 12-2 Songa's two wins the first came back in 2008 and then the second in 2014 Murray's beaten him in the Wimbledon quarters before that was six years ago it was only four sets but two of them went to a tie break and Murray has said in his BBC blog that he feels there'll be certain elements of this match that literally come down to one or two points either way so he will want to be absolutely on top form here to not give Joe Wilfred Songer a chance. Remember, Song has been all the way to a slam final before. He's aiming for his seventh Grand Slam semi. Two of those are here at Wimbledon back in 2011 and 2012, and he's incredibly popular with the crowd. He had an easy ride through in the fourth round because his compatriot Richard Gasquet had to retire, and Songer actually carried his bags off court. So little touches like that just show you how human Songer is. But of course, all that said, Murray will still have the lion's share of the crowd support. I think there's a fair amount of respect between the two players. And it has been an easy ride so far for Andy Murray. He's been absolutely brilliant. Kyrgios stayed with him in the very early stages of the first set. But the uh, talented young Australian soon found himself on the receiving end of a straight sets defeat. So Murray is still yet to drop a set in this year's Wimbledon. Interesting to hear Ivan Lendl talking to Murray and the young lad who's knocking up with Andy down the far end seems pretty relaxed and the last two times we've down, been down here at Orangi Court 15 Lendl has been more vocal than we've heard from him in the past he's been quite encouraging and he's just such a foreboding presence on the court he smiles he has a little bit of banter but he carries so much natural authority in his personality and of course with the gravitas of his achievements I wonder if it could be a glorious reuniting of the two men who masterminded their way to two Grand Slam titles and the Olympic gold here four years ago. Murray, the overwhelming favourite against Songa, and so far in this Wimbledon fortnight, the partnership between he and Lendl seems to be right on song.